All right, guys, we're over here at this pole barn working today. And uh, i never seen a pole barn built like this. But they actually put concrete around the poles. And we are trying to get this concrete out of here because the frost is just going to grab these pieces of concrete and pick the whole pole right up. So I don't know why they did that. Um, we're in New York State. We have a 48-inch frost line. Normally, there's concrete underneath the pole, not around the pole, because that big blob of jagged concrete is just going to, the frost is just going to grab that and pick his whole building right up. So. Yeah, and there's clay under here, so we are trying to make a curb here. We got hired to kind of pour a wall in between these the six by six is right along here because the grade drops off out here so we got hired to do that and we start digging and we're running into these pieces of concrete there was concrete around this pole this pole we're trying to break it off that pole every single pole's got these big pieces of concrete around it biscuits prying it out of there right now looks like you got it huh The whole damn pole is moving is the problem on this one. This is the biggest one we've had yet. But what a stupid idea that was to put concrete around the pole. I have no idea why they did that. Yeah, so there is your, uh, there's your concrete <laughs> around the damn pole. So we got to make sure that pole is straight now. Put a string line on it and I'll push it with the excavator. So we got one more to do over here and we're going to curb all this all the way around over to there. We're going to take that foam out of the way. Uh, what a mess. Never seen anything like this in New York State. You don't put concrete around uh, your poles on a pole building. There's one we ripped out, another little piece. We're doing, we're doing some backwards work here inside this very tight quarters here working stay tuned we're gonna form all this up i'll show you how we're doing it but um not the best way to do it but it is what it is we got another one on that pole dustin's ripping it out another big chunk of concrete right there around the pole. This gets over there digging it. Never seen anything like this. Okay guys, here's what they did. Another view. Basically that blob of concrete is just around that post. Which, uh, we're not sure how deep this one is, but they've been running about two foot deep. As you can see. So we're digging them up. We're gonna put a sauna tube underneath them with a mushroom at the bottom of the sauna tube of concrete, a little footer to hold the build. And we're gonna try to do one, two. We'll work, the boys are working on that one to get that one done, which would be three and maybe this one today. And then uh, hopefully uh, we can do some more tomorrow, but we can't do them all at once, obviously. It's, this building will fall down. Okay guys, this is what we're gonna do. We got these uh, brackets, these Simpson brackets. We put an anchor bolt in the bottom, not on either side. This gets fastening them down. And uh, once they're at the bottom of the six by six, we got some sauna tubes on it, over there. We're gonna put a little blob of concrete in the bottom. We're gonna put the sauna tube in there, and that's gonna sit down in the, the bolt's gonna sit into the sauna tube, and it's, when it dries, it'll hold everything right where we want it. We're gonna put a string line across here to keep everything straight, because these are just floating in the breeze right now, as you can see. The whole end wall is just kinda, we can just shake the whole damn thing, see? So that string will keep us straight. We got concrete coming. We're gonna fix three posts. One, 
two and three. Get them three fixed today, let that dry. Tomorrow we'll see if we can get uh, get another couple poured or three poured tomorrow. So that's what we're up to. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. <laughs> Stop. Damn, stop Got one more to do over there. Concrete ought to be here in a minute. We're gonna use the excavator bucket to uh or the ditching bucket to get the concrete in there. And then just bring it over and bring it right down in there. Here's the concrete. Here comes the mud, guys! Sean saving the day. All right, I gotta get off my phone and move my truck. At least he's got his, here comes the mud hoodie on. Circle T, baby, coming to the rescue. 315-963-2231. They're saving us today. We're gonna sling that mud right in that uh, excavator bucket here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna turn around. And I'm gonna drive right inside there. And get the mud right down to the boys. I'll try to video in between doing this. All right, that's what we're doing. You gonna have to pick that sign too, Bob. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. Already rose up the bottom. Okay. I want it right up to the bottom of that bracket. You might just kind of pick it up if you can. about that huh you want a little material around the outside or you think you can pick it up grab a hold of it Dustin oh, 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 oh. don't lose it all well we wanted some concrete under it so right all right. All right, so we got the sound tube in there. We put a little concrete under it, put some gravel around it. Dustin's filling the tube now. And we're gonna stick these rebars in there. <laughs> and that's gonna be our repair. Things we get ourselves into, huh, boys? Fixing other people's mistakes here. Good thing we caught it is all. I mean, I don't imagine what this building would have done well, over the winter. We didn't have to dig these ones down harder. We wouldn't have bought it. Oh, I know. Yeah, why is this whole building even? I don't understand why. Look at that. That's right. Good That's good concrete. Circle T mud right there, baby. So we got to do this, like, three of these, then we got to do more, you know, because we can't do them all at once. This building will fall down. So we're going to do three today, and... Take the shovel, Take the shovel. Here, take a rebar here. Two. Stick your rebar down in there and shuck it up and down. Put three rebars in there. Yeah, a little bit more. 
on this side over here. Right around the back side if you can. Yep, there you go. That'll work. Next. Next. I gotta get it back on the excavator, guys. Stay with me. Hmm. Scoop number two. That's repair number one. We're working on repair number two. I gotta move. You got concrete around it good? So we get like a blob on the bottom and we gotta kick some uh, gravel around it to hold it in place. That's how we're doing it. Otherwise the sauna tube just moves on us. I'm gonna jump out and help them. This is how we fixed it, guys. Oh. We got our sauna tubes in, our brackets, and all that fun stuff. And we got three of them fixed, so tomorrow we'll work on that one and that one. And uh, over to the front here, we got two here. And I started to dig this one out here. Um, got a big chunk off of that one as you've probably seen that chunk but we will have to support this one because right there's a seam right there so that's kind of a support beam there's a header there but it doesn't carry through so i'm gonna put a beam underneath there tomorrow there's a seam right on that joint so that's not gonna work for us that holds this whole darn roof up so sidewall we weren't too worried about because it's not load bearing it's a gable end so oh one of those days guys hey guys we're here the next day so our concrete set obviously on our three poles we are going to tackle this corner pole today on that pole so it should support itself. This beam goes across to here, which is the house pole. So we're gonna, that's, that one there is good. So we gotta tackle this one. And that header beam should support it with this pole and this pole supporting that corner. Um, I do have a floor jack with me today, a big heavy floor jack. And we got some lumber if we have to prop this thing up a little bit, we're gonna do that. But we should be in good shape to take them out. This front wall, I'm a little concerned about that one and this one because there's nothing there. And that's obviously super load bearing, those poles. So biscuits unloading some sauna tube. And I'm going to get the excavator running and see if we can uh, start out with that one, dig that out and see how she looks. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here is how we're going to support this corner. Basically, we put these two by tens on there. This one was already poured. That one was already poured. So we bridged across here, screwing into those posts. And we did the same thing here. We got this board here to support that middle from that post to this post, which we already poured. And then we got this other post to kind of help hold the corner in place that's how we did it so we should be able to dig that post out and this corner post without anything moving so that's the game plan there's a seam right there right there there's a seam so we don't we had to put these in because that right there would be a weak point so these two by tens ought to hold things in place for us while we dig out that post and fix it. And then uh, we're gonna build our curb probably tomorrow, but this is putting us behind obviously, but we'll get her done for this customer. I feel bad for him. Working on this post now, guys. We got the blob of concrete there, about 20 inches down. 
trying to rip it out of there so we don't really mess up the post any. Just roll it out of there, I'll grab it with the excavator. There you go. <laughs> so we are putting a jack post underneath the beam here, guys. So we can kind of hold this thing. A little bit more if you can. You're still a little crooked. I'm watching it. It doesn't seem to have risen any. That's pretty good. You get a, some screws in the top of that plate. We're good to go. It's pretty straight. It looks like well, you can go another couple whacks. If you want to. I want it to be straight as can be. Yeah, it's still crooked. I'm swinging that hammer up that high. No. <laughs> How does that look? That's looking better. It's not perfectly level, it's but it's perfect. it's good. It's good. So I'll show you what we're doing, guys. Where we're at here. This is the one we're replacing now. This has a huge blob of concrete on it. So we got that beam under there, like I showed you, to try to support this. Trying to get that out of there. We put some boards, cantilever over on this one. We put a diagonal across here to try to help hold it as well. So we got to get that double one done. We got these two ready. This one here is ready. Just got to get our sauna tube in and this corner one's ready. Had to put some wood on here. It was raining. We didn't want the water to get in the hole, but that's where we're at. Stay tuned. I'm uh, going to get on the excavator and try to bust that off of there. And then we will see if we can get some sound tubes in here and get our concrete coming. Actually, we're going to try to do that one over there too. So we're going to put another beam going up that we're dusting standing. I have two beams under this header here, load bearing wall. All right. It's almost like they poured it in two separate pieces. We might have poured some under it and then poured some around it after it dried or something. Yeah, that piece is loose. Yeah, holding up. Yeah. Things we get ourselves into, Big Biscuit. Yeah. <coughs> that ought to be a rest to the guys that did this job. Mm -hmm. There you go. She's breaking. Keep her right on going. She didn't move. You might be able to get your crowbar in this hole right here. That bottom piece, if I can pull that out of there. No, right above that, right in between the post and the concrete. Yeah, right there. You're gonna have to come out this way or you gotta break that tab off. Right there? Yeah. Oh, you're right. I think there's more room over here. Uh, if you spread this apart here. Alright. You got her butt, keep whacking her.
There she goes. A couple more wax. She's about through. Oh, we got her, guys. Yeah. Now we just got to pull it out of there. <laughs> now we got to get that big one out of there. I can get that with the excavator. I'll just yeah. kind of dig a hole beside it and pull it into the hole. Pull Our post didn't around. move. Just so you guys know, this Cook's Construction is not the guy who did this. That's a guy they hired to take over the job from the original guy who did this crazy nonsense. So don't beat this dude up. He's doing good work over here. There's one chunk. We're going to pull that out with the excavator right there. Yeah. All right, I got to get to work. Okay, guys, so this one's all ready. Dug out. We got it all ready. We just got to cut our sound tubes. Got this beam holding. We put a wood beam in here. Hold this side. We got all the concrete off of this one. Boys are just cleaning it up by hand. Excavator's over here. But it's kind of a weird angle, so a lot of it we're going to do by hand now. I'm going to start cutting sound tubes for the other ones. You just got to push the concrete over as he fills it. for the camera dumpster. Where are we going with it? thing up and shift her over yeah you get that on the big jobs I'm gonna have to he wants to be the star of the show coming around the corner Woo. don't be spilling that gray gold now Stop, stop, stop. You're caving that in. It was starting to move. Yeah. Beautiful biscuit footage. Now there's a dumpster in your way. There's a dumpster in my way. We're almost done, guys. We're filling up our last two tubes here. Circle T, Mike came to the rescue today. 315-963-2231. Uh, Swigo County, Onondaga County, Jefferson County area of New York State. That's where you want to get your concrete. They take care of us. Little jobs like this. Cater to the little guys like me. get some video footage after we wrap this up show you what it looks like guys stay tuned
Okay guys, we got our repair completely done here. I'll take you right around it. Here's the doorway. We got that one done. We got this double over here that was a complete pain on the other end of the doorway. And then coming in, this one we did yesterday. That one was yesterday. This one was done today, fresh. That one was done yesterday. And that one was done today. So we are good to go. Repair is complete. So he has not to worry about his building falling in. Right, Biscuit? That's what we do. Said it be done. Yeah, they, they said it couldn't be done. We did it. We fixed a serious mess for these people. We're just glad that we caught this guys because if we didn't see that and we put our curb we were just hired to put a curb we're gonna put a curb from here around to here over to there because this grade drops right off so we're gonna form up between these six by sixes and pour concrete just to hold it that we can pour our floor because the floor goes way up here so that's what we were hired to do we come over to prep that and then we're gonna pour the concrete in there and in this garage but we got chipping around in there to dig that out and we discovered a big mess so that is what we did to repair it and we would not leave a mess for somebody else we're out beer 30. all right guys we brought carl the Kubota over here we had that big pile of uh clay and junk and concrete pieces we just had a dump truck he's just pulling away down there um, loaded him up. He dropped off a load of this crushed gravel right here. Pretty nice stuff. So he brought us that load and we loaded them up with the crap that we wanted to get rid of because there ain't no room to work around here. So now Biscuit's taking down our posts that were holding up our beams yesterday when we did this work. But everything's fixed. We're going to backfill some of these. At least get some of these holes filled in especially in this front where we're not building our curb we can fill this in and that one in but our curb starts here goes around the back so we can't do nothing there that's what we're up to we're just pulling them out because we're all good now nothing's gonna move now concrete's hardened and uh dustin's picking up some of the clay so we can get that out of there and that's what we're doing stay tuned all right guys this is where we're at um we're putting our rebar in our wall we got our outer boards all in for our curb here whatever you want to call it but we stuck uh three horizontal bars and then we stuck uh three per bay here of vertical bars and we drove them right down in the ground good so this is gonna all be it filled with concrete we're starting to put our inner board on so just wanted to show you that rebar detail before we uh, cover it all up. And we, looks like we got concrete coming for like uh, 2.30. It's like noon now, so we're in pretty good shape. Stay with us, I'll try to show you the pour a little bit. My rotor's over here. Hey little buddy, what are you doing, Bobber? You okay over here, huh? Huh, you good boy? You helping out? Support, right? All right. What do you say, Biscuit? Where's the mud? It's coming. It's coming. Two o'clock. Can't even smell it. Can't yet. even smell it yet. All right, guys. This is our wall right here. I will show you the outside. Then I'll, or the inside. Then I'll show you the outside. But anyway, you can look down in it. You see our rebar. We got three horizontal rebars and three we put these three verticals in the horizontals go right through the six by six all the way through we got everything wired together you can kind of see our splices like this where we got a good lap two foot lap and they're all wired together this is the outside of the wall We're gonna pour it up to here. 
and we got everything pretty cleaned up around here so we can work we moved a bunch of dirt out of the way we got uh carl the kabod over here at the yanmar just waiting on mud stay with us we're gonna pour this wall and then we'll have our curb here you can see why we need this curb the grade drops way off back here and you really can't fill it in because there's a boathouse here and the door is really low so that's what this is all about that's why we're doing that stay tuned here comes the mud guys that's sean on the conveyor truck slithering in here from circle t there they come with their nice new conveyor truck 315-963-2231 is their number they're going to help us today with this wall so stay with us we're going to pour that wall we got to get that conveyor stretched out i'm going to set my camera up so he's going to stretch the conveyor out and not hit the wire don't hit carl the kubota they don't like that Poke that bad boy right in this wall here. What's that? Hell, but he's got her. I think. Yeah. I'll hit the roof. Oh, he just missed the roof. Huh? Sean knows what he's doing right there. Come now. You gonna pull ahead? Nope. Oh, he's putting his uh, outrigger out. Good idea. This truck has outriggers on it so that when the conveyor stretches out, doesn't fall down actually. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want it to fall into his house, huh? Oh, yeah, you gotta go out a little bit. Oh, right in there like that. Look at Sean go. Oh. Did you doubt him? Jay, Jay doubted you, Sean. how we're gonna do it looks a little different in here don't it Sean than it did the other day <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's footers underneath the building now <laughs> all right I'm gonna get set up here guys Yeah, that's why I do call Circle T.
Alright guys, we got a little issue with some forms buck buckling a little bit. So I'm putting a couple more strong backs against it on the outside. I put a little dirt over there with the excavator. It'll be good now. Maybe we should have backfilled it more. Dug it out tomorrow. We'll get her. Stay tuned. We got her, guys. Sean's just uh, cleaning up the conveyor here, washing it up. We hit a couple bows. We were gonna vibrate it, but we ain't vibrating it. That concrete was loose. It flowed right down in there. Started to uh, bow pretty good right where Biscuit's standing when we first started right there. That board down there started to bow right out and then we got nervous, so. I'm gonna make an executive decision not to vibrate it and blow this thing apart. We scoop some dirt around it on the outside with the excavator and we put some just a few props around the outside to hold it. She's good now. She's full, she stopped off, curb is done. Should be dry tomorrow. Clean up here and uh, I'll show you when I strip this thing what it looks like. <laughs> 